Hello everyone. In this video I'll be showing how I've developed a ESP8266 web server. I'm using this um, D1 Mini board which is uh, becoming quite popular. Um, I like it because it's stackable. It has uh, a number of shields that you can use. I'm uh, just using f uh, three here. Um, there's also an LED shield, a display shield, a small o OLED 96 by 64 display um, and there's also a, a power, a LiPo power power board which charges a LiPo and acts as a battery backup. It's quite a good range so if you go to the Wemos uh, webpage you'll see the products. Um, this one here is um, is an SD card uh, reader. This one's using the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor and this one here is a uh, relay. So what I do is stack, um, get them around the right way, you can stack this one here, the shield on top of the Wemos and then stack the temperature, it doesn't really matter which order you put them in because they're all independently connected, the temperature sensor onto there and then the relay sensor it finally goes relay a uh, shield sorry goes on top there and there's the um, the assembly uh, get quite high but there's the assembly uh, ready to be used and now I'll power up the board you can hear it connected so, so I'm just providing power to the to the unit now. Okay, to show you how the web server operates, I will connect to the web server. And there it is, it's come up nearly instantaneously. Um, I've given it a header, just displayed an icon, uh, just to show what can be done. Obviously this is a standard HTML page, really. Um, I've got some, I can display some sample images, a single image, that's a high resolution image. I can switch the onboard LED on and off. I can control the relay on and off. I can read the um, temperature sensor, the DHT11, temperature, humidity. I can do that via uh, an independent route. Uh, this, this, this option here enables the temperature humidity readings to be written to the SD card to sort of parse the values and um, which will be extremely useful for data logging um, it then creates a HTML web page and, and displays that um, so um, if you look at the bottom left hand corner when I hover on this link here it says DHT update which is sending that command to the web server but in this instance here, it's actually reading the next one down is temperaturehumidity.html, which is the HTML web page written by the web server to the SD card. A link to my own web page and a supplementary link back. So first of all, I'll display some example images and they're just weather icons. It's coming off the SD card, off the... Um, the module of the Wemos module, uh, a high resolution image. And it's just showing you that uh, that's our dog called Bertie. Just showing you how long it takes to get a high resolution or reasonably high resolution card back to the home page. So if I switch the LED on, yeah, you can see the LEDs switched on. Go back to the home page switch it off again. I control the relay, I can switch the relay on. Um, there's the 
status LED there. Back to the home page. Relay, switch it off. Back to the home page. Display the current temperature. 26 degrees, 55% relative humidity. Update the readings. No change. I hold my finger on the sensor. Update the readings. No change there. I just blow on the sensor. I'll put that back into roughly the field of view. Update the readings. There we go. Back to the home page. Take the same readings, write them to the SD card is the option I've just shown, and then display temperature humidity.html. Back to the home page. Go to my web page. There that comes up. So there you have it. That's showing you how the unit can be controlled via a web server. That's switching. LED on and off, uh, relay on and off and reading temperature.